Hi everyone, I thought that I would have a go at this cute little heron from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I've done the other elements on this double page, um, the um, picture of Ivy and House Mouse in the boat I did with Mambino crayons I did it a long long time ago and I did the fish pictures at the top of the page, I can't move the book um, and I think it was a video, um, I will uh, do a link to it if it was one. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. And then, oh, excuse me, but never mind. We'll carry on and we'll have a go at this heron. I can't zoom in anymore and we'll move my book. It's just where the tripod is positioned because it's at the bottom of the page. It's always a little bit awkward. But I've decided to use my Stedler Ergosoft pencils. I haven't used them for quite a long time. And they've got two greys, which I need for the herons. At, for the heron and also um, they can be nice and sharp which is always nice and useful now I want to colour this heron a bit like the heron that I see when I'm out on my walks so uh, that's how I'm going to do him so it's going to be a lot of grey and I probably won't do too much white although they usually are quite white um, I'll probably just do him greys and uh, yeah we have a lovely heron um, so I'm going to start actually and then I'll talk to you about my heron. Number eight, which is the dark grey. If you don't have the dark grey, if you've got the slightly smaller set, you could use the black very gently and put some light grey on top. So um, yes, when I'm out for my walk, um, my heron doesn't have these um, bits, so I'm just going to do them anyway. When I'm out for my walk, I see the heron and uh, they sit so still. So you can see I'm putting a l more layers up on the end of each of these bits and then less. I'm going to get a lighter grey to fill in the details in a minute. So they sit really, really still and they look for fish. And uh, they're just fascinating to watch. And they look like they're statues or like they're fake. And you can sit there and think, has, the, um, has someone put that there? <laughs> this is <laughs> number 80. I remember once um, going to our local um, park. We've got one large park in our town and uh, some smaller ones. I'm going to go right over that. I don't want to leave any white um, because um, it tends to look a bit silvery, which is great if you want silver, but I think he's not silver. He's grey. Okay, so yes, in our local um, park, um, we have, uh, I, I spotted a heron on one of the fishing platforms. I'm picking up my darker one again, number eight, to do these ones in a very similar way. And um, it was just sat there. And uh, I, I was like, is that real? I just couldn't tell. Me and my sons, they were quite small then. We were just watching and watching and eventually it flew away. And went, oh. I'm keeping that one quite dark because I'm going to be putting a bit of grey into the neck. So I just want there to be a contrast in colour. I'm going to carry on with this dark one and do some details on these feathers. Um, Johanna's done this nice pattern. I'm just going to do a little bit of darker up here. Not for any reason, just because I think it'll be fun. There we go. I'm going to fill in some of the other bits with the light grey in a bit. So I'm just going to keep going with this one. So I'm going to put darker areas at the top of these feathers. So yeah, I do like the herons. I do remember a poor heron one day. I was walking along the canal path into town. And there was a heron at the side of the path. And I approached him and he flew forwards and then stopped a bit further along. I'm on the bank near the path. And then kept doing it and doing it. And I felt like I was chasing him. That poor little heron. He didn't know that I was just walking on my way into town. And uh, I think he thought I was some sort of, I don't know predator I guess but anyway I thought we'll just fly to the other side I won't be in your way poor little heron but, uh, it's nice to see them I'm never sure if I see if I'm doing a long canal walk sometimes I'll see more than one but I'm never sure if it's the same one that's just moved or not but I always find they're so elegant when they fly my son's quite naughty one of them he likes watching them fly so he will sometimes sorry I just gotta wipe my nose he will sometimes clap so excuse me um to scare it so that it flies and then you can see they their wing their feet sort of tuck up in a it's really pretty I think anyway much more elegant than a pigeon which we often see. 
and they just look pigeons just look too fat to fly <laughs> poor pigeons now i'm looking at a picture i'm going to try and this these feathers are quite light and these are darker so that's what i'm going to do i've sort of made it up a little bit to uh, fit in with Johanna's drawing and also to make it more fun. Now the legs and the beak are slightly yellowy or orangey so I'm going to ignore those. So I'm going to grab my light brown, um, brown, it's obviously brown, <laughs> light grey number 80. I'm sorry I'm in a funny mood today. It's, little, it's lunchtime maybe I've got low blood sugar and it's making my brain go mad. I don't know but I'm not very hungry so I thought I'd just make a quick video before lunch. And uh, it's because I had a snack this morning, which is naughty of me, but I was just in the mood. I try and listen to my body and I don't sort of snack in between meals very often. But uh, I went to the supermarket and they have my favourite lentil chips, which I love. And I bought a packet to take um, somewhere. Um, we're going for a little party. Uh, it's only a little tiny family group, it's not a big party um for, for my dad's birthday actually um at the end of the month so i grabbed some to take for that and uh i'm trying to go a little bit darker under these feathers so a few more layers and then less and uh but i sort of picked up two bags so um yeah one of them had to be eaten and it was not a small bag either so i think i might um just have a very light lunch coffee and then a the little something because uh, I don't really need anything I think my brain says I need something but my body doesn't well my insanity bit of my brain <laughs> it's been a bit of a hectic day to be honest I think that might be more to do with it okay let's let's look at the rest of this bird now the head and neck are actually quite white in most um, of the herons but what I'm gonna do is actually make it a little bit darker on the edges. I'm not doing a background for this, so I'm thinking if I make it darker here, it might give it a little bit of shape. I'm just going to gently blend that back, um, and also it will it will see that there's some colour there rather than just the white paper. So I'm going to do. You can see I've done a line of grey each side, and I'm just going to gently bring that in towards the center but make it lighter as we go in so hopefully it might just make the neck look slightly more rounded rather than flat let's have a look I think that's helped a little bit I'm afraid you're rather zoomed out and it's quite dark I put the lights on I don't know it's quite a dark day so uh, I'm just going a little bit darker around the edge of this section a bit lighter around the eye there we go. We've got this bit too. I'm just looking. It's actually quite like this. Like you can actually see long bits of feathery business going on. And then I'm going to just put a light layer behind. Perhaps I should have done the light layer first. But anyway, I hope that doesn't just look like I've scribbled on it. If you don't like that effect, just, just do it. Just do it round and round. Um, yeah, I think that'll do. Now, beak is quite orangey yellow. I'm actually tempted to go for this one, number 43. I rarely use this colour. Put a bit down and see. Yes, that looks really like the colour of the photo that I'm looking at. I'm going to try and put a bit more at the bottom because I think it will be more shady and dark. I'm going to use the same colour for the legs. I don't know if the legs are all this colour because a lot of the pictures I've got, you, the herons are in the water or you can just see the top of them. But I'm just going to do the whole thing in this colour. I think it'll look better. Anyway, look at their feet. I really like this. It looks like more hens. Can you see the feet? Yeah. And there we go. Now we have the key to do here on the string. Now I'm going to use this one. This is number 16. It's a sort of goldy browny yellow. Now I'm not going to try and do too much too fancy. It's quite small. 
So what I'm going to try and do is put more layers on this edge and try not to shadow it too much, shade it too much. And then a bit less as we go towards the top and bottom and leave the tiniest bit of white. And do the similar thing here on this centre bit. So leave a white bit in the middle, just a tiniest bit. And here if you can, if you can see, that bit I'm going to do quite dark. And then hopefully it looks a little bit shiny. I don't know how well, you probably can't see in the camera at all. I'm sorry it's so dark, it's rubbish isn't it? Hang on. Uh, no. So I'm just trying a different lamp setting. That was just warmer, it wasn't any brighter was it? Okay, let's do these. Now, we've got these wearing lily pads and we've got these lily flowers. Now I always like to do my lilies in pink. And I think that colour will go well with the page because I haven't got any pink yet. I've got orange fish, so I'm just going to do that. Um, which pink shall I pick? I rather like this one, so I'm going to just use it because I like it. This is number 25. And what I'm going to keep it really simple, I'm just going to use the one colour, intense at the bottom, less towards the tip. Really simple. Nice and easy and straightforward. It's interesting, lilies. I don't, we don't really we tend to get them just on sort of ponds and things that are sort of, what's the word, cultivated. You know, I don't see them in the wild, like on the canals or anything. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? I, maybe they're not um, native to the UK. I don't know. really simple now we have the lily pads and I rather like doing them a sort of slightly olivey green color so we have this one which is 57 it's one of my favorites and uh, I'm just gonna do them in a block color because they're quite small and just do them all the same going to worry too much about mixing up colours. Now here we have an overlapping one. You might want to just put a few more extra layers around there and maybe on the bottom. Okay now we have the water. Last thing I'm going to start with number oh, number 35. I don't know how much of the you may not be able to see the whole book. Can you see the whole book? Probably not. I'm going to hold the pencil right at the bottom and colour side to side with the pencil on its side to get a lighter and more even covering. I'm not actually going to take the colour all the way to the edge. I'm just going to colour the area where this picture is because, you know, this isn't a whole page spread. Obviously, it's just a little bit. Now, what I find strange, though, is that we have lily pads and lilies, obviously floating on the water, but we can see the heron's feet. So, I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I'm just going to colour it like this. I'm not sure whether to colour over his feet to make it look like he's in the water. I think we should a bit because he obviously is he's not floating on the water is he and I'm also just going to grab this green again which is the number 57 and just go over that with a little bit of green now the water that I've done I'm going to do it in patches the water that I've done on the um, facing page I will show you that picture in a minute um, has green and blue water so I just think it works to matching with that. I'm just going to move my pencils off the facing page and I will show you. Let me zoom out and you can see the fish as well. There we go. So here are the fish, very vibrant. I'm pretty sure that's a video and if I can find it I will link to it so that you can have a go. I've just noticed we haven't done the label. We'll do that in a minute. And there's the facing page that's done with Mambino crayons. And you can see the water's got bits of green and blue in and the fish are quite vibrant as well. So that was a lot of fun. 
So the the um, label on the key, um, I think I want to do it brown. Let me just move my pencils back. I think I'm going to do it a dark brown because then it won't look the same as the key. The key will look more gold. Sorry, when zoomed out now. Number 76. And all I'm going to do, I can zoom in. There we go. Oh. As, uh, just do it really lightly because I don't want it to be dark brown but I just want some gentle coverage there we go really simple so hang on you need to see the whole picture let's zoom out we're really awkward now but there we are there's the whole um, the whole of our picture so there's our heron I hope that was fun he's quite simple but uh, I enjoyed doing him and it's quite nice sometimes to just do a little aspect of a page. And as I say, I'll try and find that video if it exists. <laughs> Good memory, eh? And link to it if it does. And then you can do the whole page. And then you have a page done. And it's quite quick. So that's really cool. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that one was okay for you. And uh, have a lovely, lovely day. And happy colouring.